Grace to you and peace, and welcome uh, to this new way of, of being church uh, together. Um, trying out a new uh, way uh, to connect with you through uh, YouTube. This is a trial run. We're hoping to be able to put a, a worship service online uh, this weekend, and then you know do some other things uh, as well as we live through this uh, this pandemic. I um, do want to offer a couple of resources, a couple of reminders to you uh, today. Uh, first of all, just to let you know that our church office continues to be open. Uh, you're welcome to come by. We are practicing social distancing, but you're welcome to call, come by, uh, let us know if you need anything from us. Uh, we do want to be here uh, for you and with you at the church uh, through this uh, challenging time. Uh, do want to uh, also invite you, if you do come by, uh, to pick up a new prayer booklet that I have put together. Uh, here it is. It's called uh, Poems, Prayers, Psalms, and Promises. Uh, and has for each day of the week a, a poem, a prayer, a psalm, and you guessed it, a promise uh, from Holy Scripture. A uh, simple way just to, to pray through your day and hope that you will uh, find this to be helpful. Uh, we will put some in a basket uh, outside the church office if you would just want to come by and pick it up, or you can call and we can mail it to you, or you can come on in and we can give you a, a copy. Uh, that will be available uh, beginning uh, tomorrow. I uh, also want to invite you to take a look at my, my blog. I am posting uh, my sermons and other um, thoughts and ponderings on there. It uh, can be found at mypastoralponderings.com. Uh, also check in on Facebook if you're there, uh, our church email, uh, and other ways that we're trying just to stay connected uh, during these, uh, these times. Uh, they are certainly uh, challenging uh, for all of us. And, you know, with that in mind, I want uh, to close uh, this very brief uh, welcome to you uh, with a short devotion. Um, and this is from uh, my prayer booklet for uh, Monday, uh, which is the theme is uh, Peace uh, of God. First, just a very brief passage from Teresa of Avila, who says, Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are changing. God alone is changeless. Patience attains the good. One who is God lacks nothing. God alone fulfills all our needs. And then from uh, Psalm 46, one of my favorite psalms uh, in times of, of challenge. Uh, and here are these words. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, Though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Be still and know that I am God. As I read these words, I'm reminded uh, of another time when I shared this psalm, which was after 9-11. I was a pastor in my first church uh, down in Florida, and still remember that uh, prayer service that we had uh, after 9-11 when we all gathered together. Uh, we happened at the time in Florida to be having a hurricane, or I think it was a tropical storm by that point, uh, but still made it hard to, to get together, and so there weren't very many of us uh, there for that worship service. Um, but as I was reflecting on this psalm that day, I thought about those weather people uh, that you see out on the beaches uh, in the midst of hurricanes when they are uh, trying to be still uh, for the camera as the wind is, is blowing them all about. Uh, it seems to me that's the invitation in this psalm. Uh, in the midst of our storms, to trust that God is our refuge and our strength, and to be still, be faithful, be trustful. Believe uh, that God will be with us through this storm. Be still, this psalm says, and know that I am God. I invite you to take today as you watch this, wherever and whenever this finds you, to remember that. Uh, take a breath, be at peace, know that God is with you in the midst of this storm as God promises to be with us all. Jesus promises us peace. Uh, in John 14, he says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Join me in prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we do give thanks to you for being our refuge and our strength, a very present help to us in trouble, and for giving us the peace which surpasses all understanding which only you can give. Surround us all and with that peace as we go through these stormy times together and help us to be still and to know that you are God. Amen.